Howdy gang, make sure you stay tuned till the end of this video where I'm gonna show you how you can win a chance to win one of these hats. So, stay with me. Howdy gang and welcome back to Pool School. In today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to clear up a very green pool. So what do you say we get going? Alrighty, before we get going, a couple things. Number one, thank you for watching. Number two, please like this video if you do and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. And also, share my channel with your friends, family members, relatives, anybody you know who owns a pool is looking to save a buck or two servicing their pool themselves, okay? So, all right, next thing. I happened to come across this pool because when, uh, somebody called me, asked me if I could come over and take care of their pool, start servicing their pool, but he also warned me that he had a very, very old sand filter or a very, very old sand in a sand filter and his pool is absolutely swamp green, which it was. So I thought what a great time to take advantage of getting a video on cleaning up a full size pool that is really green, okay, and you'll see when we get to it. All right, one thing to keep in mind also, uh, I know that the sand was super old in this filter and it is important that you have an efficient filter to clear up a green pool. If your filter is not working well, it's not efficient, it's not being able to do its job like you have really old sand, you're either gonna need to replace the sand so the filter can really filter out all the algae or you're gonna need to change your filter like this gentleman did. We ended up getting a uh, cartridge filter and putting it in his pool and we're gonna start the green clean process today. Um, also, that means that he had clean cartridges to begin with. It's a brand new cartridge filter. And then at the end of the process, I'm gonna pull the filter apart and clean the cartridges again so there's not all that residual phosphates and slime and green crud in the filter. So he's got a clean filter to go with. So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna go over the list of things that you're gonna need to actually take care of a green pool. I call it doing a green clean. Okay, and as I said before, you wanna have an efficient filter that's doing its job or you're going to be fighting a losing battle. Also, you wanna make sure that your chlorine level, your pH level, and your alkalinity levels are all in the ideal range. And I would suggest increasing the chlorine level to the to a high range, okay? To the, to the top of the um, range where it comes to being um, uh, ideal, all right? So here are the products that you're gonna need. You're gonna need some trichlor granules. These are made by Easy Chlor. They're called granular algae out. I'll let you look at that for a second. You can do an online search and find these. This is a 10 pound bucket and you can get that online. I know that. You're also going to want to have some phosphate removers. This is huge. All right. If you haven't seen my video on algae and algicides and why you don't need them, you definitely need to watch them because phosphates are the number one reason that you get algae in your pool if everything else is functioning right, okay? It's usually the biggest thing, which is why I don't use algicides. I use this. So we're gonna use this. This is my favorite brand. It's made by Orenda Technologies, and it is called PR10,000, okay? And we're gonna use that in the pool as well. Now again, I'm gonna test the chemistry of the pool to make sure that everything is correct and everything is balanced, chlorine, pH, alkalinity, and all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna head over to the pool, take a look at it, and see we have, what we have to deal with. Alrighty, so we're gonna head into the backyard and take a look at this pool and see what we've got to deal with. Remember, we've got a brand new cartridge filter in there, and so that's gonna be helpful. Remember, it used to be an old sand filter with old sand, and that wasn't helpful. So let's look at this pool. And here is the pool. Obviously, you can tell it is green. Now, a couple things that we did. We replaced the filter, so we put in a brand new cartridge filter. We also, this had a pop-up system that wasn't working well, and the actuator was shot again, so I convinced him to put in a pool vacuum using a VacMate made by Pentair. Uh, attachment goes in the skimmer, and it replaces the basket and adds an attachment so you can attach a vacuum hose, and that's what that is in there. That's a Zodiac Barracuda G3, my absolute favorite pool vacuum, okay? So this is what the pool looks like right now. Obviously, it's really green, all right? Actually, when I came over the other day, before they put the, the cartridge filter in, you couldn't even see that second step. You can already see the second step, so it's already doing better, okay? So what I wanna do is I wanna go over the steps that I'm gonna use to get this pool cleared up, all right? All right, I'm gonna also show off the filter. It's a nice filter. This is a Pentair filter, and uh, it's in really good shape. It's brand new, okay? A couple things also. I'm gonna note this at the end of the video too. 
This is a cartridge filter, so we have clean cartridges to begin with. So that's the first thing you want to note. If you have a cartridge filter, you want to clean your cartridges before you start this process, okay? And then after the pool is cleared up, you're going to want to clean the cartridges again. This is with a cartridge filter. If you haven't seen my videos on cleaning a cartridge filter, I have three. One for a Hayward filter, one for a Pentair filter like that one over there that we just put in, and one for a Stay Right filter. And I'll put links to all of those in the comment on the description of this video, okay? If you have a sand filter, listen very carefully, you are going to want to backwash that sand filter immediately. Get it really cleared up, and then you're going to want to backwash it on a daily basis, every day, until the pool is cleared up. Okay, and maybe even a couple days after that to clear out the sand. This again is assuming you have uh, good sand in your filter. If you have a DE filter, you're going to want to backwash your filter and recharge it before you start this process. And then about every two to three days, you're gonna to wanna to backwash and recharge it again. This is just to help clear out the gunk so the pool can clear up quickly, all right? So, number one, first thing I'm gonna do, and I've already done it, I would shut off this filter. I would empty the pump basket, which is right in there. I'm sure you've seen how to do that if you haven't. I have a video on that, okay? Also, you're gonna wanna empty the skimmer basket, and I'm sure that you already know how to do that, all right? The next thing, and this is important, I am going to run the filter pump, motor, etc., 24 hours a day until this process is done. I will not shut it off okay that's the next thing i want to do make sense okay now the next steps are chemically oriented i'm going to test the chlorine alkalinity ph and cyanuric acid levels of this pool if you've not seen my video on those i will post links to those as well you want all those in the ideal range and the chlorine you probably want in the higher end of the ideal range okay the next thing i'm going to do is I am going to add, for a, size pool, a pool this size, I'm gonna add two pounds of the granular algae out trichlor granules. Remember, the, the system's running, so it's gonna help distribute the chemicals, okay? Two pounds of it into this pool by walking around the perimeter. After that, I will add 16 ounces of the Orenda PR10,000 phosphate remover. That's critical because that's gonna eat up the phosphates. Remember, when algae dies, it also releases phosphates and phosphates are the primary food source for algae, okay? So I'm gonna do all that. I'm not gonna bore you with the details. Again, just to reiterate, two pounds of the trichlor granules and then 16 ounces of the PR10,000. And I'll be right back. Okay. So, as I said, I tested the chemistry of this pool water, and what we had was the cyanuric acid levels were good, the chlorine levels were pretty low, so that trichlor is going to help. I'm also going to put chlorine tablets in their floater over there. I'm going to fill that up, so that should help us with the chlorine, okay? And pH and alkalinity were fine, so I've added the two pounds of trichlor granules. I've added the 16 ounces of PR10,000 phosphate remover. Remember, as I said before, and I'm gonna say this a lot, this pump motor for the filter is going to run 24 hours a day continuously until the pool is completely cleared up. Do not turn the motor off, okay? All right, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna fill up that container, the uh, tumbler with chlorine tablets, and then I'm gonna brush the pool down just to stir everything up. And that's pretty much all I'm gonna do for today. And then I'll come by tomorrow and check it out. Alrighty gang, so one more time to read what I did on day one. Remember, this is a brand new cartridge filter. Remember, if you have a sand filter, you're gonna be backwashing it daily. If it's a DE filter, you're gonna be backwashing and recharging it every two to three days, okay? So you're gonna make sure that's happening. Remember, I'm running the filter 24 hours a day until this pool is completely clear. Do not turn your filter off, all right? So remember, I emptied the pump and skimmer baskets. I'm gonna do that daily to make sure that everything's still functioning and flowing well. I added two pounds of the trichlor granules, the easy chlor granular algae out. I also added 16 ounces of the PR10,000 by Orenda phosphate remover. That's my go-to one. And uh, I brushed the pool down. I brushed it all down just to stir up the stuff off the sides to let that filter start pulling stuff out. And that vacuum's gonna do its job as well. 
well. And then remember, I filled up the chlorine floater. I put five fresh tablets in there. I've got my chlorine levels at higher than ideal, and I've also got my pH and alkalinity and CYA levels at the ideal levels. So I'm gonna come back every day and check it, and I'll let you know what it looks like. Once it's cleared up, I'll come back and turn the video back on so you can see it. Remember, the only thing I'm gonna do every day when I go there is just make sure that the filter's still running. I'm gonna test the chemicals. Um, maybe two days into this, I might add another 12 to 16 ounces of phosphate remover, that, but that's it. I'm emptying the skimmer and pump basket, so I'm gonna brush it every day, okay? And when, I start, when it gets clear, or it gets noticeably clearer, I'll turn the video on and let you know how many days it's been, all right? My estimate, five days. Okay, and then remember, once it's done, because it's a cartridge filter, once it's all cleared up, I'm gonna pull that filter apart and clean the cartridges, all right? All right, we'll see how it looks. All righty, gang, it has officially been exactly seven days since we started the green, green clean process with this client's pool that we just put a brand new cartridge filter into it, and I want you to take a look at the results. And here we go, folks seven days so it took me a little longer than seven and then five days which i which i predicted but if you look at the pool we're looking good all right a little bit of green right there in the corner you see on that step right there but the pool is clear that is a far cry from what it looked like before so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to let this filter run for the rest of the week and then i'm going to come over to their house on either friday or saturday and I'm gonna clean the cartridges. Remember what I said, I wanna clean those cartridges. And a cartridge filter, you wanna make you sure you start with clean cartridges for a green clean when you do all your chemicals and all that, right? Run it 24 hours a day, seven days a week until it's clear. And then at the end of the, of the, of the process, you want to clean the cartridges again. So that's what I'm gonna do at the end of this week. So I'm gonna give it a little longer. I'm gonna let it run you know, for the rest of the week. It's not gonna cost that much for electricity and then I will clean the cartridges. And then this pool is good to go. Oh, and remember what I said earlier, that when algae dies, it releases phosphates. So I'm also gonna add probably about eight ounces of the PR10,000 again to the clean pool, uh, now that it's all cleared up, to just get rid of any residual phosphates that might've been released during the uh, the cleaning process and the death of the algae. So remember, a little bit extra phosphate remover and then just maintenance doses, keeping your filter running the way it needs to and uh, keeping your chemistry up. You should be good. So folks, that's pretty much how I do a green clean on a pool. So remember the steps that I took. I wanna make sure I start with a clean filter. So if it's a sand filter or a DE filter, you're gonna backwash it, right? If the DE filter, you're gonna recharge it cartridge filter, I'm going to clean the cartridges, all right? Then I'm going to test the chemistry and bring the chlorine level up to a, to the highest part of the ideal, maybe even beyond that, because nobody's really going to be swimming in it when it's green. I'm going to let the filter run 24 hours a day until the process is completed, right? Add my chemicals, get everything balanced, and I'm going to add some trichlor granules shock. In this particular pool, I did two pounds, and then I added about, uh, what did I say, 16? or 20 ounces of the PR10,000 10, phosphate remover. Then I let it run and uh, kept checking it every few days just to make sure that the chemistry was still up. Now remember this, if you have a sand filter and you're doing a green clean, you're gonna wanna backwash the sand filter daily. Remember that. If you have a DE filter, you're gonna wanna backwash and recharge the filter every two to three days so that way you have clean medium to pull out all the dead algae and spores and phosphates. So that's pretty much how it is done, my friends. So gang, that is my video on how to do a green clean on a pool that is filled with algae, okay? Now remember what I said in the very beginning, if you got a pool that's really, really bad off and you don't mind draining and refilling it, that might be the best way to do it. But if you don't wanna use that water up and, and do that and you're just trying to get it cleaned up, then you can use this green clean method. So if you have any comments or questions, feel free to post them in the, in the comment section below this video. Or as always, you can email me directly at my email and my email address will come all across the bottom of the screen as usual. It's kennypoolschool at gmail.com. Once again, kennypoolschool at gmail.com. I wanna thank you again for watching. Remind you to like, subscribe, and share this channel. And be safe, have fun. And always, always, always watch those kids and elderly people and pets 
around water. And I'll talk to you next time. Okay, so as I said in the beginning of this video, I wanted to give you a chance to win one of these hats that I wear, okay? It's made by a company called Sunday Afternoons. This particular hat is called the Adventurer or Adventure adventure hat and I'm gonna put a link to their website I don't get any kickback from any sales that they make but I love their product and I did a, a video last week on the hats I wear including this one which is my favorite so I'm not gonna go into detail but if you want a chance to win one of these I'm giving away two one is a size S slash M so that's this size and the other one is a L slash XL and that's for people with larger heads. They're great hats. Um, this, uh, so here's the contest rules. Number one, all right, you must be a, you must live in the continental United States, okay? You must live in the continental United States. Number two, you must like this video and make sure that you like this video. Number three, okay, you must be a subscriber. If you haven't subscribed already, do so. If you are, that works fine. Just let me know you're a subscriber. And number four, this is the big one, you're going to email me. And always my email address is kennypoolschool at gmail.com. It's gonna come right across the bottom of the screen again, kennypoolschool at gmail.com. And in the subject line of the email, I want you to put down two things. First thing I want you to put down is Sunday afternoon hat. Sunday afternoon hat. And then either specify by a uppercase S slash M or uppercase L slash XL to signify which size you want to qualify for. And the deadline to receive all of these emails is on Sunday, August 9th at midnight, Mount, Mountain uh, MST, Mountain Standard Time, which is Arizona time, okay? And then on August 10th, my wife is gonna choose one person from each of the groups of the different sizes to win that hat. And at that point, we'll email you, let you know you won, and then you can send us a shipping address, again, in the continental United States only, and we will ship it to you, and we will not share your information with everyone. So, get entered into that contest, remember, Fill in all those information, and I wish you all the best. You can win one of these hats. See you soon.